good morning guys welcome to my channel man and motors uh, today I have a Audi RS3 saloon 2019 such a beautiful car uh, today I've got uh, front pads and this to change uh, pad lights come on and this is a bit grooved and lipped so we're gonna change that and I'll show you how it's done so here we are, we're taking the wheel off and as you can see the pads are worn so there's very little left pad lights on, we are change the disc as well that's lipped, we are grooved as well so these are the Brembo calipers, RS ones and they're really expensive as well so here we go, we'll take that off so first of all, um, these are the pins so you've got four brake pads you got one, two, three, four, and same on the other side. I'm going to take them off first. So you got the pins here, you remove them, pin remove them, and the pads will come out. behind the caliper so you've got the caliper bolts you've got one here and there's one here I'm going to take those two off to just remove the caliper so take the discs off but to do that first uh, first we need to take this spacer out because there's gonna be a screw holding this disc up so I'm gonna take them off spacers come off and here you go I'm gonna take that screw out it's a T30 Torx, so we just move that away. So I just forgot to make it in use, so I just cable tie the caliper to the spring just to not put pressure on the brake pipe. So I just move that away, and now I'll give it a whack. Just got my bigger hammer to smash this uh, disc out because obviously this is genuine from factory and obviously it's gonna be a rust around here so we're just gonna give it a good whack to take this disc off here you go discs, discs off just sprayed a bit of maintenance uh, WD-40 spray just to free up the rust and give it a couple of whacks and there you go that's off now we just clean up the surface and Put the new discs in. So here's the new discs. These are Brembo discs, and they look the same. And this we will put back on now. Put the new discs on. Uh, put the screw back in. Put a couple of grease so sit nicely. Next time it can come off. Whenever it does come off again, I don't know when. But yeah, that's it now. So now we're gonna put the caliper back on. I'm going to push the pistons in, uh, so I'm going to push the pistons in one side, then the other side. So there you go, let's get eight pads, then back to our sensor, and the sensor will go on the offside wheel, this is the inside wheel now, so there you go. So let's do all pad fitness, let's do pad fitness, there you go, see the difference here. Yeah. 
once you put one in, then you can set the piece to the other side. So I'll take this one off on. So they're all the same, it doesn't matter which way it goes left or right. If you want it to sensor, it has to be in the right position. When you take it off, you'll see what that goes into. So this is the offside. Uh, as you can see, this is the one with the sensor, which goes on the top. So always take a picture. Or if you forget, yeah, just take a picture. So when you point it back, you know which side that pad sensor goes. So it goes to the back here. And I'm gonna start doing this side now. So because I'm changing the disc, uh, the pads came out easy. But if you just change the pads uh, on your RS freeze or d type Bembro calipers. You'll have this uh, bar going across with t torques, um, female torques either side. You can take them off and then the pads come out easy and you just put it back on. But obviously I didn't have to because I'm taking the disc out and it just falls, comes off easy. So just for future reference, well, I'll show you that. The brakes are all done, discs and brake pads. Um, it's been road tested. Um, it's all good, pad light's gone off the dash. And uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoy. Uh, I'm happy to answer questions if you need me. And take care. Bye.